My name is Martin Law, and I am directing Macbeth at Players Theatre. I am way too bright. <laughs> it is playing from February 23rd, no, 21st, 20th to 23rd, and then again from 27th to March 1st, because February is a short month. I think it's you March 2nd. I think it's day. March 2nd. March 2nd, that is <laughs> How am I feeling? Yeah, tell us about how you're feeling. I don't know how I'm feeling. I am very drunk, Mr. I am very drunk. I'm feeling like floating balloons in the 19th century. Okay, Act 1 starts, and there's a war. And the witches are like street people in this war. And the witches say, fair is foul, and foul is fair. Then, Macbeth. He's confused about what to think when these witches give him the prophecies, right? Because they say, thou shalt be king hereafter. Macbeth says... What does he say? He says... <laughs> no, not... Okay, Macbeth and Banquo say, There and if I grow, the harvest is your own. They say they are loyal to Duncan, but Macbeth, behind Duncan's back, is plotting to, to usurp the crown. Now, Lady Macbeth says, Thou art too full of the milk of human kindness. And she recognizes that he has flaws that she can exploit. So she says, two forces unknown, unsex me here. And she also says to Macbeth, art thou a man? And, oh God, are you a bitch of a person or are you a strong dude? Do you want to be strong and kill the king, or do you want to be weak and to be a bitch hereafter? He says, no, I want to be strong. And therein is his flaw. <laughs> and then he has his friend Banquo, who's fought with him in the war. So he's been a badass, you know, alongside him. And Banquo hears the witch's prophecies and thinks, I shall be king after Macbeth. And he has his son, Fleance, and he decides that Fleance will bear a line that will be king after Macbeth. But Macbeth decides that Banquo is a threat, so Macbeth kills Banquo. Who basically, he says, the serpent that hath venom will breed, but Fleance is pretty much going to become a threat later. <laughs> 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 he says that's a problem. The witches say, Macbeth, 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 beware of the thane of fight. Beware of Macduff, because he's a thane of fight. He's kind of a cool dude. He has a knife, you know. Macduff realizes this is fucked, and he's got to go to England to solve it. So he goes to Malcolm, who's the son, who's the son of the king. Mm, this is good scotch. What is it? It's Glenfiddich 12. I love Glenfiddich. My clan is supposed to somehow be related to Clan Fiddick, but <laughs> you know how it is, I don't know. <laughs> well, the porter is pissed drunk when he enters. And he comes on, and he's sort of playing this game with the door, because Macduff and Seton are knocking on the door. And he just says, ha ha ha, you're all knocking at my door, but I interpret this as Hell's Gate. And you know what, to be honest, he's opening Hell's Gate, because there's fucked up shit that comes after that in the play. And he talks about his dick. He says, alcohol basically inclines a man, or, I mean, really a woman, if we're considering this in a fair way, to have sex, but not really to be successful having sex, because you're fucking drunk. 
And you can't have, I mean, if you're really wasted, you can't have sex, right? If you're really, really wasted, you either get a boner or you don't. And that's just depending on how drunk or fucked up you are. And that's the beauty of Macbeth. Why should someone come see this show? Because, for one thing, it is fucking awesome. And anyone who disagrees is stupid. That includes... I don't know who includes. I'm getting call on my cell phone right now. But I will say, before I answer the cell phone, that Shakespeare is genius. Hello, Matt Banks. I'm at Alex Rivers' place, filming the theater. Uh, come on over, why don't you? You're gonna include this on the fucking film, aren't you? Bastard! <laughs>